So how do we get from the victim mindset to the victor mindset? Because it's not easy. Sure, it's not easy. I think first is hyper self-awareness, is really realizing that complaining, moaning, and never taking responsibility for yourself it already puts you into the victim mindset. So there's no gray. It's not like you're kind of sometimes victim. It's either one, you're either taking responsibility and becoming an architect for the future and your life, or you're blaming. Uh, mm -hmm consciously or unconsciously about uh, the government, your family, your past, whatever the case may be. Sure, sure. Uh, becoming self-aware is step one. Step two, there are a myriad of different types of tools out there. I use one by Dr. Joe Dispenza and uh, he explains that everything and everybody around us has a mind. This mind has a personality. This personality is made up of behaviors. Behaviors are made up of habits and habits are made up of rituals. So victim thinking is very much a minute by minute, moment by moment ritual inside our heads of how we react to situations. And I wrote out all the rituals that went on in my head and realized and tried to really pinpoint the ones that made me energized and ones that made me de-energized. And the ones that made me de-energized were the ones that were making me victim mindset. So that was one tool that I took this de-energizing ritual, I created it a, or shifted to becoming an energized ritual, and that slowly practice becomes a habit, behavior, and your personality. Okay. But there's many, I mean, you just have to get onto Google and get onto YouTube and TED Talks, read some books. Yeah. There's a lot of tools to, to, to get out of it. But first, you've got to become self-aware. Yeah, sure. Yeah. sure.